Hello. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a custom dashboard in uh, WordPress with Elementor. Um, and so I'm basically just following this um, blog post tutorial on um, the Elementor website. So if you prefer written, I'll put the link to this in the video description. But um, okay, let's just go for it. It's actually really easy. So first going to start off by getting a new plugin. I think I have this in my clipboard. Yeah. Okay, so it's this one here. It's called uh, Dashboard Welcome for Elementor. And it's actually made by um, Ideabox Creations, who are the same uh, people who make um, the Elementor add ons um, suite of thingies. Okay, so that's installed. Activate it. And then we're going to go to Elementor, My Templates, um, add a new template, and make that a page template, and then just call this something like a dashboard welcome, except without the dyslexia, and then create a template. And that's going to open up an Elementor um, editor page. Um, okay, so then the first thing that we need to do is go to settings and change the page layout from default to Elementor canvas. That's going to get rid of the header and the footer and just have a blank page. Um, okay, and then so then we basically just have to start designing the page. Um, and so that's really up to you how you want to design it. Um, I'm going to just start off by putting some columns in there, maybe a heading. Um, then add in some text. Just be some welcome text. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Um, okay, and then maybe over here, say, let's just press Command or Control D, that will just duplicate that, move it over. Um, okay, and let's add a form. And then you can just edit this however you like. I like these to be bigger. And I don't like the labels on the outside. Um, and then you can style this however you like. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna add a new section over here. And let's do that. Obviously, this can be anything that you like, but I'm just going with. I'm I'm kind of basing it on what they did here in the um, in this tutorial. They've got some text and a form, and then some videos. So I'm basically just doing that. Um, but you can really put anything that you want here. Um, and then I might center that. And then I'm going to add, I've got actually the um, ultimate add-ons for Elementor. Um, the Brainstorm Force guys released that. Um, so I'm going to put that in there. Maybe add a little bit of space. And then, oh, 
It's cool, these videos open in a light box, which is really nice. I'm just going to remove three of them. I'm just going to go and copy some of the videos from my YouTube channel. Okay, and then so you can add in your URL and then you can change your caption over here. I'm just going to leave those so that this doesn't go on for too long. Um, but that does make it nice and easy. You can just paste these in. One thing to note is if you are using this, and you paste a YouTube link and you have it set to Vimeo, then it doesn't uh, show up properly. So, Okay, um, that's about it really. Uh, obviously you're going to add the things that you want and the right headings and some legitimate text and style it correctly uh, or the way that you want. I mean, I would guess we need to put some space in here and a spacer is not necessarily the best way. We could add some margin or padding or something like that, but it is the quickest way. Um, Okay, so that's basically it. And then you say publish. Publish that page. And then just go back to the dashboard. And then you've got to go to settings. Uh, and by the way, this is empty just because I've deselected all of these things. Um, Settings, dashboard, welcome for Elementor. And then you're going to select which roles you want to see. And here are the templates. We're going to choose dashboard, welcome. And you can make them dismissible. I'm just going to click that so you can see what it looks like. Save the changes. And then go back to your dashboard. And that is that. Okay, and so you see. Actually, it, it doesn't keep the um, the fonts so uh, that you used in your design, and I think that's just a WordPress thing. I haven't actually really looked into it, but if I, I'll just show you here quickly. Um, if I add some of these and then reload the page, then I've got this uh, what font plugin. And you can see when you scroll over here, it's saying system UI. So it's just using the system UI font. So you can't really style it in terms of the font that you're using. Um, but you, uh, setting the size does work. Um, and then, so look, I would have put some more space in between there. And so style it the way that you want, but that's how that works. Um, and just so you can see how what font works, if you are interested, let me reload that quickly. Uh, you just hover over any font and it tells you what it is and if you click it gives you some more information about the weights and all of that it's just, it's a very cool extension for Chrome anyway back to the dashboard so that is done this dismiss button allows your users to dismiss that and then goes back to uh, what they had but it, you can also include it and exclude it in the screen options um, and that is that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I said, if you want the written version and you prefer that, then go and have a look there. Uh, if you like these videos, please um, comment or uh, share it or subscribe. Uh, if you don't, then that's cool, no worries. And uh, if you have any requests of videos that you'd like to see for Elementor uh, or just WordPress in general, even Photoshop tutorials, whatever, just let me know. I enjoy making these, so I'd love to make some more. Uh, cool, have a great uh, weekend if you're watching this on Friday, which is the day that I'm making it. Goodbye. <laughs>